Hi ladies, in this video we are going to review the Gonal F Multi-Dose. So when you open up your medication, you will have a box that looks similar to this one. Um, I'm not gonna open this one up, I have my own demonstration here, but a couple things to note before we get started. You do just wanna verify how many units are in your box. So you may have the Gonal F, for example, this one has 450 units in it, or you may be um, having a box that has a 1050 unit vial. I just want you to note that each of these medications is overfilled. So if you have a 450 unit vial, once it is reconstituted, you will actually have 600 units of medication, which you should use entirely. We definitely don't wanna throw away that med because why would we, right? Um, and then if you have a 1050 vial, that is overfilled to 1200 units. So again, and please, 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 with the overfill with this one, go ahead and use it. So what you're going to do when you receive this box, this can stay at room temperature until it is reconstituted. So when you have it um, and it hasn't been mixed at all, it's totally fine just to leave it out. I will let you know when you need to put it into the refrigerator. When you open up your box of the medication, Again, this is for demonstration purposes. You will see that you have an area here that has syringes on it. You have a syringe that has water. It's pre-filled already. And then you will have a vial of medication that will have powder in it. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is you're gonna pop off the top of the vial that has the powder in it. And you're going to remove the um, top of this syringe that has the water in it. And you're gonna go ahead, push in, and push all of the water into the vial of the powder. The powder will automatically dissolve within the water, but if you do see that it needs a little bit of assistance, you can go ahead and just swirl the vial. You don't wanna shake it because there will become air bubbles and it's gonna be harder for you to pull it up. So once it's reconstituted, um, at this point, you can go ahead and withdraw the syringe that will be empty, and this can go directly into your Sharps bin. So now, um, for the sake of example, we'll say that this one had 450 units in it, so we reconstituted it, so it actually now has 600 units in it. So when you're ready for your first night of medication, let's just say that your dose was 150, you would go ahead and open up one of the syringes that comes in the box. Just a reminder that you want to get a new syringe every single night. You never wanna reuse a needle that you already used. Um, you'll see here that it is very evenly distributed. Um, 37 and a half, 75, 150, 225. So what you're gonna do is just draw up this medication until you get to your actual dosing, which is 150 units for this example. Um, and then once it's pulled up, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get your alcohol. The way that you give this injection is a subcutaneous injection, which just means that it is that small needle going into the fatty tissue. You're gonna clean your skin off um, with alcohol. Go ahead and pinch that skin. Go in like a dart, and you're going to push the medication all the way in. Once all of the medication is pushed in, you're gonna withdraw the needle. The needle is gonna go directly into your Sharps container and the vial of your medication, because it's now reconstituted, this does need to go into the refrigerator for the next night. On night two, since you've already reconstituted the medication, you just need to take it out of the refrigerator, get a new syringe, and again, just pull up to your prescribed dosing.